hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel and you know it's friday just got paid friday night money in my pocket feeling right okay i feel like throwing a little shade okay and i'm only throwing the shade at portia i ain't throwing it at the kids okay it's trending news and it's been on my radar but when i saw this last picture of this baby girl and i see her mama head and i'm like what does not go together in this picture okay you know we're gonna be talking about mama 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 right here okay who need not to be a mama because she's all about the aesthetics she's all about the fakeness fake lashes fake hair veneers on her teeth you might well call those fake because they're really not yours you're not showing your real teeth and now you don't went to your old natural okay but I'm, you got perm in it but it's still your hair okay and then my daughter when i was telling her about what i was going to be doing for my next video and she told me that simon like your hair better he don't like all that weave those wigs or none of that and you went and did it you went and stopped doing it. i'm like okay so what's going to happen to your naked hair business okay you're not going to promote your stuff anymore by wearing it but let's talk about a real mama let's talk about a mama that show improve and do the darn thing every day of her life so we're gonna talk about brooklyn look how brooklyn look look how brooklyn look all fresh all happy all satisfied okay natural beauty natural beauty like a mother okay very joyful very playful and she's got love in her heart and just love all around her okay you can say whatever you want to say about Maul. you know i ain't, I ain't feeling him either but he is definitely in love with his daughter okay you can see it in their pictures you can see when he plays with her she loves her dad and that's a good thing but kenya is all about that old natural too when it comes to her own hair or when she has to do other stuff but when it comes to baby girl brooklyn everything is all natural okay and right now she was kind of puzzled because she's trying to figure out how she was going to get that the game out the store but kenya said no you ain't you ain't, you ain't doing nothing to get it and you don't have no money so put the shit back and she had to do what her mama told her and you would have thought that by them both hanging around each other something of a good parenting skills would have rubbed off on portia okay now portia is all about aesthetics the optics that means she has to wear her makeup she has to wear her hair this that and the third but she's such a hypocrite because my daughter said simon said i don't like all that stuff on you cut it out go back to your old natural and she did it all right but that's beautiful brooklyn natural hair natural skin development just growing into a natural baby beauty okay <clears throat> and we salute you kenya moore for doing the right thing and not adding from the natural beauty that god gave you as a gift in brooklyn okay keep it up now we have miss shy i think her name is shia okay we have miss shamia morton sporting her daughter very cute very punchy looking you know what I'm saying? like you just want to squeeze those little cheeks and kiss that little nose and just gobble her up right right beautiful parents they know what they want to do with their child they want to put that knowledge in their child same as kenya she want to put that knowledge it ain't all about glamoring the baby up and the baby keyword baby natural beauty is everything don't need to add nothing to perfection god gave you all that you needed in that gift okay and we can see her meaning shia still over there and her natural all natural looking and look at miss pj looking all pretty as she can possibly be okay then we got Kava Ka is it kavaya i think her name is gabrielle uh daughter name is kavaya see it all natural doing doing it make it do what it do and she's gonna have some cute sideburns but yes all natural hair nothing added to it nothing you know it's just beautiful you know what i'm saying she's growing into her own and you can see she's gonna have a lot of personality right she's gonna have her bad hair days and she's gonna have her good hair days but either or she looks beautiful 
Beauty soul. That's all I can say. Nothing added for the attraction that's already a main event. And then we got Baby Blaze and her Gabby outfit. And we know Candy be doing in and everything to make sure her children are good. Okay? And there's no addedness needed. She has a beautiful son. And she has a beautiful daughter. And baby Blaze gonna be giving attitude. Because them eyes she have. Blaze ain't got them. She'll tell you how she look. How, how she feel by her sporting them eyes. Okay? You gonna know if she's excited with you or you gonna know when she's displeased with you because her eyes are the feature of her whole body they're beautiful and candy spit that child out okay ace you can see candy in him as well but he's kind of looking like taught a lot now but you see how candy mother did not add anything that's just natural air okay put a little oil to the scalp get that moisture going it's gonna grow now, you know Candy spit that baby girl out. Yes, she did. She spit that baby girl out. Even though she didn't have her naturally. You know, it's just still the same thing, okay? And Mama Joyce wasn't going to have that shit. She ain't going to. Uh-uh. We ain't putting out none of that stuff. But Portia, 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 Portia. We just keep going down this road. You just balling backwards. You only think about yourself. You're being selfish. And you're a hypocrite. How can you have your hair all natural, but you got baby girl's hair full of weeds? I mean, when are you going to have time to let that child have breathe like Miss Shia, mom? Looking all pretty as she possibly can be. Looking all pretty as you can possibly be. And what was wrong with baby girl PJ? Beautiful. Beautiful. Just look like a little doll. Look just like a little doll. And there you go, Portia. Your mama ain't got uh, filters in your hair. Okay? When did you stop liking how your baby girl was looking? When did you stop liking the optics of your baby girl? Because she ain't giving me but happiness, loving, joyful, and our hair is beautiful. Okay? Look at that. Whoever did that hairstyle, I'm pretty sure it was you. Beautiful. Why would she need added additional stuff in her head? That's you. Your mama didn't have no added addition in your head. And they had wigs and weave and, and extensions back then in the 60s as well. But you started too young with this baby girl with false hair in her head. And I was like, okay, that's cute if she keep it that way. But the last time I saw baby girl on a swing set when you were pushing her, them damn near long extensions look like she had 24 inches in her hair and i'm like portia are you the are you a damn fool i just want to know are you a damn fool what why is that girl got all that fake hair in her head why her hair can naturally grow that length and more if you take the time to nurture it but see you don't got the fake hair at your head and your hair is getting a breather how messy can you be to keep that shit in your daughter's head? You see where I'm going with this Portia? You piss poor. You're being pissy poor. Now, if you're going to let a man tell you what to do and you do it at will, then you need to take my advice and take that shit out your daughter's head. Let her hair breathe the same way you let your hair breathe. Don't add nothing else to that baby girl's hair because there was nothing wrong with it from the beginning. And she was looking just like a doll. She's still a doll. Don't get me wrong. But what if that girl go to school and somebody wants to come with the bullshit, as Aunt Bertha was saying, plotting up a scheme against PJ? They already got they. They know where they going for that. Them long false hair connected to her head, and they gonna swing that baby girl around unless she gonna come out with her TKO knock them down punch. Okay, but she could inherit that from you. But the point is, why are you making this girl grow up so fast? Why are you adding all of this extra stuff to her when she's perfect? She's perfect. She's a beautiful looking girl. And she can compete and she can hold her own with all that, without all that shit in her head. You are such a hypocrite. You're going to have your hair free. 
your own natural hair. And really, technically, your hair ain't natural now, is it? Because you got perm in it to swoop it down. What happened to being the black pride? What happened to just wearing an afro? Because right now, you need to take that shit out that baby girl head. Let her hair and her scalp breathe. And whoever put that shit in her head as a hairdresser need to be whooped up the crack of their ass too. Okay? Because there's no need for that. Hair will actually grow. If you keep it washed, if you keep it moisturized, it will grow. But it's scary to think that you're going to be stopping PJ's growth in her hair because you're putting all that shit up in there. Entwining it with her real hair. Okay? And I know it's, you know, it's, it was the hair treated properly. Because some of that fake hair, you get the itches. Because I know when I used to wear uh, fake braids in my hair before I started twisting my hair and letting my hair grow. And my hair is very thick and very full. At 54 years old, and I still got all my edges. But how PJ gonna be? She gonna be bald headed. Keep fucking with you. Okay? And I'm like, I don't know why your mama, she didn't put that shit in your head. Why would she let you put that kind of stuff in her granddaughter's head? Your mama need to be whooped up the crack of her ass as well. Okay, I'm like, does anybody have sense on your mother's side of the family? Because right now you're trending, and it's not a good look. And since your mama wouldn't tell you, your friends, your fans, your whatever you have out there won't give you the God honest truth that PJ was and still is beautiful without that fake hair. Now, you may own a hairline. But from what my daughter said and from what I'm getting from these optics that I'm seeing you sporting this short haircut and have been wearing it for a long time. You know how fake hair is uncomfortable after a period of time. Your hair needs to breathe. Your scalp needs to breathe. Your ass got your hair correct now. Even though you don't put that pot ash up there and made it slick in the third, which ain't doing nothing for your school because it's pot ash. Okay, it's acid eating away at your school. I know you don't know nothing about it, but somebody should have educated you about it. Okay, but you should have took a rule, a playbook out the uh, the rules of the playbook that Candy Birds have been doing with her daughter. Kenya Moore has been doing with her daughter. Shamil Morton has been doing with her daughter. And the list can go on. Gabrielle with her Kavaya hair. Everybody is treating their baby girl's hair around your same girl, baby girl's age. Keeping it natural. Keeping it moisturized. And it's going to grow the hell out of their head. Probably down to their butts. Especially um, Kavaya and um, Kenya's baby girl. I tell you, you just get worse and worse and worse. You just keep coming with the foolishness, the fakery, the fuckery, and fraudulent activity. Always. It's a different thing when you're doing it to yourself, okay? And you're grown at this point. But that baby girl, PJ, is too beautiful for you to tamper with and mess up. Dennis, where are you? Can you try to be there for Portia? Portia don't want to act right. Dennis, you need to be paying attention. I know you're a male, you're a man, and PJ looks cute. But when it's all done and said, what if PJ start having scalp problems? You know what I'm saying? And she's got to have medicines to keep the, uh, uh, the dandruff or the fungus from, you know, being in her head. Or she's miserable because all that shit Portia got up in her head to make her look beautiful. I'm like, Portia, when did you stop liking the way your daughter was looking? Especially when it came to her hair. And you're supposed to be a black mama. I don't understand. I don't understand. Make it make sense. I'm, I, I, I try to do this as delicate as possible. Okay? But I know what I'm talking about. I didn't, I didn't put that shit in my daughter's head. And my daughter has a full grown. Her hair comes down her shoulder. Okay? And she tried that shit with them perms and all this other stuff and went through her whole ordeal in her young, later teenage years and her younger and, you know, getting the weave and the stuff and all that stuff. And then she had to come to me and I'm saying her, <laughs> baby girl, I taught you from birth on up. I only use the best part 
of Royal Crown and that Blue Magic, baby, and that Johnson Johnson shampoo. Your hair will grow. You need to just give yourself some time. Now, she won't even touch a perm. She done been out of a perm probably 10 years plus. Loving her hair. Everybody compliments her on her hair when she has it up in twists or whatever. Now, she still dips and dabble with the uh, weave. But she don't keep it in no more than two or three weeks. And it's out. And she's wearing her natural hair again. But it is very dangerous. When you look at your baby girl and you don't see the beauty in her. That you have to add stuff hair next is gonna be makeup next is gonna be eyelashes next is gonna be alterations in her physical body you're gonna make that baby girl feel so bad about herself like everything is wrong with her when the only thing that's wrong is you you're the parent you're wrong you're giving into society or what society had put on you but your mama, I've seen your pictures. Your mama didn't have no fake hair. You, you had you going around here with no fake hair from the pictures you've been showing us of your baby hood. Now, she was correct in that. But where she got off track with you, I do not know. Because you are the vainest woman that I know on this planet, Portia. And it needs to stop. Fuck up your own self. But don't fuck up your baby girl. Let her grow into who she thinks she wants to become. And not that all these aesthetics that society says you have to look this way. You have to act that way to, in order to be accepted. You, you, can't, you can't have your natural look that you want to have. You got to have the European straight hair. Uh, white looking, western looking. Before you're considered to be acceptable. That's piss poor. And that's piss poor, piss poor for you to be a minority and a black African American woman, Portia. It's sad. It's very sad. But I had to do the video, guys. Hopefully y'all like it and y'all enjoy it and y'all got where I was trying to go with it. Because it, it just doesn't make any sense. For somebody that's already beautiful. For her to not see the beauty in her baby girl's natural hair. That she has to adapt it and change it. And right now she's changing the structure of her baby girl hair as well, too. So, Portia, get with it. Okay, get with it. If you want your hair to be natural or you want it to be short without having weave, wigs, or extensions in it, why can't you give your baby girl the same options? Which it shouldn't have never been an option from the beginning. She should have been just having her natural hair. Period. And point blank. But we still see you in the learning phase. Ooh child. I, I, I don't know. I don't know PJ. We got to just keep you in prayer. Because your mama is full of shit. She is full of shit. And she's 40 years old. Don't make it make sense fam. Make it make sense. How these parents try to dress up these children these babies like they're dolls you know like they, they just gotta put them how they want them to pin them because they're not happy or how they look now who wouldn't love that baby girl for all of what she is she is a gift from god she's a wonderful present and i say gift because we're not gonna be here our whole time on earth so enjoy it love on this baby girl don't enhance her beauty because as she grow, her beauty is going to glow. Her beauty is going to grow. Let her find out who she wants to be. Because hell, she probably want to be an Afro baby. You never know because you never gave her that chance. Because you messed up her hair by putting her in this straight looking hair where her has to be all down her back at her age. I'm like, what? Where, where, where we go with that? Where, where, where we going with that, Portia? Her hair can grow that long. Given enough time, given enough care, it can grow that length. Instead of you putting that shit up in that baby girl's hair. <sighs> but that's all I have for this video, guys. And I will see y'all next video. Get down in them comments. Let me know what y'all thought about Miss Portia got her baby girl parading around here. I couldn't, I, uh, when I started the video, I wanted to put the most current picture. But um, if you go on Portia's Instagram account... Uh, her and Simon supposed to be having a day out with baby girl and she's in this uh, 
uh, tutu type out outfit, very beautiful. And she, I like, I, when I saw that picture, I said, what the hell is Portia got going on? I couldn't even look at the baby girl's face. I just saw how this hair has took root and grown more. I'm like, what does she have in the baby girl's hair, 24 inches or more? I'm like, damn. Girl, do that mess to your own self. But leave baby girl out of it. Let her be as much as a kid. Because when she gets to be a grown-up, she's going to have more hardship and pain. That's going to be a part of her life. With accepting, being accepted in this world for all your flaws. Or just that and the I mean, what a baby girl gain weight? You're going to just put her in a fat, uh, fat farm where they go and suck up everything out of her? You're going to give her a complex before she even knows what that is. You're going to make her not love her body before she even knows what her body is all about. Because she may think she's fine. But with your overdoing stuff, enhancing what she's already got to make it into how you want her to be. Baby girl going to be fucked up before she gets 10 years old. Because she's going to think she has to look like a doll that you don't put together. Or all these pictures you don't put with her. And she's going to like, hmm, was my hair really that long? And are you going to lie to her? Or are you going to say, yes, that's your real natural hair? Or are you going to say, no, we had added a little extensions to it to give you a little bit more length. And then she might ask you, why did you do that, mama? You didn't like the way my hair was before. What you going to say then, Portia? What you going to say? you such a hypocrite. You're such a hypocrite. And I'm calling you out on it pretty much. Okay guys. I'll see y'all next video. Peace out.